That sounds so cool. Welcome back to Airborne Productions. If you've been following along with the Rat Bike build, you know that this is our 1974 Yamaha DT360 two-stroke Rat Bike project, and that the last thing we did to it was finishing the exhaust system. Now, it's time to get her started. So this pipe's been done for a few months now, and we've been very eager to get it started, but the problem is, we haven't had any spark. Now on these bikes, that can happen for a few different reasons. This bike doesn't have points, it has a CDI ignition, so basically you have the stator making power, go into the CDI, go into the coil, go into the plug, and bam, you're good to go. We haven't had a spark. Our problems ended up being centered around the coil. Uh, when I tested the primary, it tested okay, but when I tested the secondary side, we had an open circuit. We ended up getting another coil which had the same problem. So, another coil later, and finally, the secondary side has the proper ohm reading, and we got some good spark from it. So when you're diagnosing a spark issue, basically you just want to run step by step through each component. I was kicking it over and measuring the AC voltage coming from the stator. So what I did is I hooked up to the brown wire, which is your voltage coming through, and then I grounded the other side on the bike, and I was reading up to 58 volts on a solid kick, AC like I said. Then from there you have the CDI, and after that you have the coil. The easiest one to test would be the coil, so that's where I went to next. All you do is ground it and test your primary side, which is this guy that runs into the plug. And that, we read about 1.6 ohms, which is right in the sweet spot. I'll list the values that it should be up here. And then after that, we tested the secondary side, which is the side that goes to the spark plug. We read about 8.8 thousand ohms, which is, like I said, right in the sweet spot. That's perfect. Right where we want it. After that, I also bought a new plug just to know that it was good to go. Either B7s or B8s in this bike. I don't think it matters too much. Uh, yeah, but that was diagnosing the spark issues. I'm gonna quit babbling. And we're gonna get this thing running. We did have this thing started recently, but right now, unfortunately, again, we can't get it started because there's no spark. We tested the coil, we're good. It's a new plug. Good voltage from the stator. We're looking good everywhere. The only thing that we're seeing now is when I connect the white and red to the white and green wire, we should be getting about 90 ohms right there. But right now, it's saying open circuit, no continuity, so something's disconnected on the inside. So now, we're gonna tear it apart, find out where that problem is. So upon inspection, wiggling stuff around, seeing what we're looking at, I noticed that this little piece is disconnected from where it was originally connected there. I don't know if I just broke that now or if it was always like that all along, but it is disconnected. So I'm gonna keep taking a look at everything in here um, and really figure out what our issue is. Um, and while this thing's apart, I'm going to take care of all these surfaces, clean them up, uh, get all the rust and whatnot off. I mean, it looks like this crank at one point, this, or this case at one point, had some water in it. That's, that's terrible. So, this is actually a good time to do all this work. I didn't plan on it. Uh, the bike was running. I really didn't plan on having to do all this work, but hey, it'll be that much better. So, before I say goodbye, I'm going to show you footage from a few days ago when we actually did get this thing running. It was the first time the bike had run in about five years. It was a really good feeling. Check it out. So this concludes Showing off the bike running, it sounds amazing. I love the exhaust. Uh, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it is so cool to me. And I'm really glad with how that turned out. Unfortunately, I have a big pile of mess on my hands. So, 
got a lot more work to do, but this thing's just gonna run that much better when it's done. So uh, thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe as we'll be doing plenty more rat bike videos this summer and onward as we take this thing from a pile of parts to really a nice running machine that uh, I'm gonna be really proud of in a little while. Thanks again. Thank <laughs> you.